Hey everybody, Ann here, just sitting here having my coffee. I just sat down to have coffee. I've already gone out and done all my chores. Um, so today I want to do something with that leftover whey that I had when I make the cheese when I hung the yogurt up. Um, because it's not going to last much longer out there in the ice chest. So I found a recipe, or several different recipes, they're all pretty much the same, on how to make caramel like caramel sauce or, or caramel or whatever with whey. So I'm going to try that and um, I don't know. Maybe it'll be good. Maybe it won't. So we're just going to give it a try. First, let's do the smell test. See if it still smells good. Mm, it sure does. How about this other one? Yep, it's good. And just pour it into the pan. I'm using basically a full quart of yogurt whey. It's been going oh, about 30 minutes now and it's reduced down just a little bit. So I think now is a good time to start adding the other stuff. I'm adding three quarter cups of sugar, and then I'm just gonna stir it in really, really well. Three tablespoons of ghee. One and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract. And this is the vanilla extract that Lena from Red Road Homestead gave me. It is super delicious. All right, we're just gonna stir that all up and bring it to a low simmer. And just see how long it takes to reduce this down. About, oh, 30 or 40 minutes later. An hour later, oh my gosh, this is taking so long and it's reduced maybe, maybe by half of the uh, original volume. An hour and a half later, oh my gosh, this is taking forever. All right, this has been going for two hours, maybe two and a half hours and I am done. I am so done with this. It, this is, this is going to have to be it, so I'm just going to put it in a jar and see what we got. I can already see the ghee settling out at the top, so yeah, that's going to be a problem. Yeah, you can see little chunks of ghee in there. I already removed quite a bit of the ghee and just put it in a little plastic baggie. I figure I can use it for something else. And yeah, it, it is tasty ghee. So I'm just gonna spread a little bit on top of my pancakes. And just spoon a little bit of this syrupy caramel syrup, cause that's exactly what I made here, on top of my luscious pancakes. Add to that two farm fresh eggs. Yeah, my eggs never look pretty when they come out of the pan. So let's taste test this. <laughs> mm. Mm. You know what? That caramel sauce is tasty. It is absolutely tasty. It didn't turn out exactly right. But that's okay, because it still tastes good. Works good as a syrup. Oh my gosh, it is really, really good. Mm-hmm. Very good. Um, you know what? I would not suggest doing this with whey. I think there's better uses of whey. But I'm glad I did it anyhow, because it gave me some tasty syrup. Mm-hmm. Go with my tasty eggs. Yum. I tried to make them over easy, but one of the egg, uh, yolks broke. That's okay. It still goes the same place anyhow. Mm-hmm.
I think one mistake that I made was that I, well, there was a couple mistakes. I didn't have the heat high enough for long enough. Um, one video <laughs> that I watched, the uh, person said, oh, don't, you know, you have to stand there and stir it the whole time. And, you know, if you put it too high, it's going to scorch or it's going to burn or whatever. Um, no, I, I think I needed to have it at a higher heat. And you don't have to stand there and stir it the entire time. Um, I mean, that's like two, three hours, however long it's going to take. Um, so I think if I had had the heat higher from the beginning and if I had not used ghee, the ghee, once it cools, it rises to the top and it solidifies. So that's why I took it out. But it's a very tasty ghee. So I put it on my pancake and, you know, I used it. Um, so yeah, higher heat um, and use butter instead of ghee. So yeah, live and learn. I did love the flavor of it though. I do like it and I'm going to use it. Um, it needed to be cooked probably about another hour to get it to the right consistency. And to me, in my mind, that is, it's not worth it uh, for the amount of energy. And when I say energy, I mean propane um, that it takes to cook that down. It is very good. Um, it is a way to use whey, but it's not a way that I'm going to use whey ever again. I think the next time I will maybe try and make some ricotta out of the leftover whey. So we'll see. Um, but in, anyhow, you know, why not? Why not try it at least once? So I don't think it was a complete failure. I don't think it was a complete success. Far from it. But it is what it is. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.